Path of Exile reveals their latest updates, a new class has been discovered on Terra Online, and elsewhere releases Arahan's second job change. Hey everyone, I'm Ashlyn with MMO Play, and I'm bringing you all that and more this week on MMO News. GameSpot's PC Game of 2013, Path of Exile, reveals their very first patch of the year, Game Update 1.0.5. This patch leans on the lighter side of content with no major additions due to most of the team being away for the holidays. But with a slew of larger changes coming in the next update, Patch 1.0.5 has plenty of new items to keep players entertained while they wait. While some things are still up in the air, players can expect these changes. A new support gem called Enlighten, which is part of the Enhance and Empower series, new unique items, including most likely two designed by Brother Laz, new achievements, and several microtransaction items, including the animated Medusa helmet skin. Some balance tweaks will be made to some skills, such as Flame Totem, Punishment, and Freeze Mind. Keep in mind, the final list may be different though. The first update of the year is scheduled to go live on Thursday, January 9th. The critically acclaimed strategy game Europa Universalist 4 releases their latest expansion, Conquest of Paradise, next week. The game lets players tell their own stories, allowing them to rewrite international history as they see fit. Europa Universalist 4, Conquest of Paradise, allows players to send their ships off to the west to discover a new world, unlike any they have seen before. The new expansion gives players, for the first time ever, a chance to discover a completely randomized American continent, where no playthrough will ever be the same. Fans can play as a Native American nation, mastering the Federation mechanics as well as unique nation ideals, buildings, and events living and possibly changing history. Players can also command a colonial nation, declaring wars and fighting for liberty of their homeland. The expansion arrives January 14th and will be available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. A new sandbox-style MMORPG launched earlier this week called Fantasy Realm Online. While Fantasy Realm Online might not be the most graphically stimulating game out there, it aims to make up for that with gameplay. The game boasts that it blends many of the classic aspects of single-player RPGs and massive multiplayer games, so whether you prefer single-player RPGs or classic sandbox-style MMOs, the game has something to offer. One of the unique features of the game is the merchant. Players can explore the world as a merchant in a way that hasn't really been touched upon in other games. Besides the normal selling and trading and bartering, players can apprentice under shopkeepers, mine mountains for precious metals, chop down entire forests for rare wood, and craft items for other players. The game is currently live, but plans to launch a Kickstarter campaign within the following months in order to get some extra funding to polish up the game. Thanks to some curious fans, a new class has been discovered for Terra Online. Forum enthusiast India and Espe took the time to translate some information about the upcoming Ellen class for Terra. Details are going to be a little spotty due to the translation, so don't take any of the new names as gospel. The new class is known as the Flying Scythe user in Korean and is an Ellen only class. The Cute Reaper class envelopes their sharp sickles in an aura of darkness and dance around the battlefield with their scythe and chains flying through the air to cover both close and mid range, making them a mid ranged melee class. The Reaper, or Flying Scythe user, adds tricky but refreshing gameplay that's completely new for Terra. They can use their chains to swap positions with enemies or use dark magic to pull enemies closer. To unlock the new class, you will need to have another character that is level 40 or above. Once the new class is created, she will start out at level 50. I know what you're thinking, it's a bit weird, but it may be to test out high level mechanics, so the level may drop, but then again, who knows? A lot of fans are discouraged at the fact that the class is only available for Ellen. It's important to remember though, that they need to test the class. And as it stands in Korea, Ellen is the most popular race, which means they will be able to get a lot of feedback fast. Keep in mind, the class isn't even out in Korea yet, so it may be some time before we get to see the adorably creepy tweens running around here. Elfheim Tales Online finally reveals their guild mechanics. The cute anime-themed MMORPG has had a steady flow of fans since its successful open beta launch last month. Elfheim Tales Online features colorful graphics as well as a variety of features, including its newly announced guild system. Guilds will of course embody the usual team building and socialization features of traditional guilds, but offer some exciting new features as well, making guilds a key component in powering up individual characters. Each guild is given a unique base, which acts as a central hub for its members. There will be a number of activities that require guildmates to unite in order to complete certain objectives, such as building the base itself. Guilds will also offer unique ways to improve character skills, increase achievements, and level up faster by summoning blessings for XP boosts. While many games spent the holidays planning for the new year, developers at Lunia spent it preparing for the game's official shutdown. The cute anime art and combat mechanics helped keep the game going, 
but over the years, the fan base has slowly and steadily moved on to other games. It's a bittersweet goodbye, because even though the game is shut down, the developers were able to leave on their own terms, hoping that the game could be revived someday. All data up until the final service maintenance on January 1st has been saved just in case. The official Facebook page is the only thing left standing as a way for fans to keep in touch should an investor or publisher try to revive Lunia. Fans were given the sad news months in advance to prepare them for the shutdown. Players are urged to keep their gaming account and password saved in case the game relaunches. This past month, Elsword's newest spear maiden, Arahan, has been annihilating demons left and right. And all that hard work has paid off because she's awakened her second job, Sakura Devanam. A new title bestowed on her by the nine-tailed fox, meaning the legendary god that ruled the heavens. When she evolves into Sakura Devanam, Ara gains super fast blink attacks as well as an increased attack range and speed. Her martial arts expertise expands to the tiger arts, which consists of these four significant skills. Rock Smash, which lets Ara charge and slam into enemies. Tiger Claw, which sends her charging forward and slashing twice in super armor status. Earth Access lets Ara swing her spear and throw a kick, increasing her evasion ability temporarily. And finally, Raging Weight. Ara plows her spear into the ground, pushing targets back and possibly breaking their armor. After learning all four skills, they can be comboed together to unleash the secret tiger arts attack called Fierce Tiger, which allows her to charge up her power and forcefully swing her spear. All right guys, that's it for this week's MMO update. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, follow, and subscribe for all of the latest information. Again, I'm Ashlyn, and I will see you next week. But until then, keep on gaming.